Hello YouTube. Hello in particular to D4 Sean. This is a video response to your video entitled Probabilistic Determinism versus Inductive Hyperinflation. Uh, first thing, um, it is true that it is difficult to function in everyday life without using induction. But that does not show that using induction is justified. That just means that using induction has worked in the past. But if you believe that it'll continue to work in the future, well, right there you'd be using induction. I know you're not trying to justify induction that way, but um, but if you think you're rational in using induction, then you need to have an argument in order to justify that. I know it can be frustrating when someone is just providing negative arguments, uh, that is, when someone is just saying, why you're not justified in doing something or some argument against the rationality of something uh, that everyone does. Okay, maybe that's frustrating. Maybe, uh, I mean, the, a couple people on YouTube now have complained. Hey, you know, just, you'd better be able to provide some sort of replacement if you're going to destroy my theory or destroy uh, some useful principle that I abide by, like induction. But, I mean, I mean, just because someone doesn't provide a replacement theory for you, I mean, that, that doesn't save your rationality. If someone just provides negative arguments, shows, hey, you're irrational in using induction. I mean, maybe you would like if they would provide you with a replacement theory, but, I mean, it's not like it's not like it's required. It's it's not like it's required in order for them in order for their negative arguments to defeat what you've been uh, proclaiming to be justifiable, such as induction. Something you claimed uh, in this video is is uh, something that other people have claimed as well. People seem to be uh, confused about exactly what the problem of induction is. They seem to be uh, they seem to think that someone who is skeptical about induction is asserting that it's more likely uh, than unlikely that induction will fail in the future. That is not the argument. It's, it's a negative argument. I know that can be frustrating, but again, that doesn't make it any less legitimate. It's, the argument just says, it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's just like this. Hey, D4 Sean, do you believe you're rational when you use induction? And if you say yes, well, and I, uh, then I can say, why is that? Well, okay. Do you have justification? I'm not saying that it, it's not useful. I'm not saying, I'm not proclaiming that it will not work in the future. I'm not, I'm not saying that it will work in the future. I'm saying, if you're using it, and you're going to continue using it, uh, and you think you're rational in doing that, you need a reason for doing so. You need justification. If we're trying to have justified beliefs, if, if we're trying to act rationally in the world, then we should be able to justify the things that we do. And if we can't, then we're being irrational. In your video, you have a complaint that, uh, that the problem of induction seems like something that's just been completely fabricated, uh, that it's not a real problem. Philosophers just came up with it, and it's not really a problem. Uh, and you made a, you made a statement about um, you know, it, it's, it's not based in reality. The problem of induction is not based in reality. Well, it's funny you say that, um, sh uh, because, uh, David Hume would say, well, uh, there's nothing that you experience that lead, that should lead you to believe that, uh, the future will resemble the past. So, d if you're, if you think that using induction is rational, and you're saying that there's no reason to think that using induction is not rational, well, he would say, tell me what you've experienced exactly um, that made you rationally believe that induction will work in the future. Tell me what you saw that made you believe that the future will resemble the past. So, um, as I said in one of my other videos, the most intuitive way to go about this is just to say, look, well, everything, look, the laws of physics are stable. In the past, the future has always resembled the past, so it seems likely that it will also, uh, that the future will also resemble the past in the future. In other words, induction will continue to work. 
but that would be circular justification. That's circular reasoning. Uh, right there, I just used induction to try to justify induction. Again, that's circular. So if you have a way to justify induction, please let us know. Uh, that's what the debate's about. Do you believe that the sun will rise tomorrow? If so, why? Now, keep in mind, if your explanation, if your justification appeals to the past, uh, and then you try to say, well, because uh, such and such has been true in the past, it is likely to be true in the future, then you're using induction, and you need to justify if you're going to use it. David Hume, I think, would agree with you uh, when you say that there's no reason to even suspect that induction will stop working tomorrow. But uh, in order to successfully show that we're all irrational in using induction, uh, one just needs to show that there's no reason to believe induction will continue to work. So if no one can either show that induction will continue to work or show that it is likely that it will not continue to work, then the skeptic about induction has succeeded because all he was trying to show is that there's no positive reason that we have, there's no justification we have to believe that it's more likely, or that it is likely at all, to, to any degree, more than a 0% chance. All he needs to show is that there's no positive reason, there's no reason to believe that induction will continue to work. And again, you can respond by saying, but there's no reason to believe that it will stop working. But again, that doesn't get you justification. That's not fully adequate. If there's someone who loves to be irrational, then the problem of induction doesn't really apply to them. Because if someone, if the skeptic about induction accuses them of being irrational by using induction, they can just say, I don't care. But if you believe that you are rational by using induction, you need justification. It's funny that you mentioned cause and effect. I just made a video about that that I'm uploading right now. Uh, I'll link you to it in the video description.